Hello, I'm J. Lewis with two shortcuts. This time with a solution for the page loading error that could display it on your IPTV Mac while it's booting up. The solution could be very simple or a little bit complicated depending on the internet connection you have chosen, as the reason for this error is that your Mac is not detecting internet connection while it's booting up. And you can check that out here on the right side what it says internet not available. But I would like to point out that your IPTV box will not work if it's directly connected to a modem. It must be connected to a router or a combo unit which is a modem with an integrated router. And if possible, avoid connecting your IPTV receiver to a router that is connected in series with another router. Unless, of course, you are sure that the second router is properly configured and could provide the bandwidth required for a stable service. And that speed should be a pure 2 megabit per second for analog channels, pure 10 megabit per second or higher for HD channel, and at least a 25 megabit per second or higher for 4K channels. Okay, as I was saying, this area here can give you a clue of what is causing the problem. And one of the causes could be that the modem is not in service or offline, that the router where your Mac is connected is not getting internet service from the modem. Also could be that the internet connection port or the Wi-Fi antenna on your Mac is, is bad, or maybe it's just a loose or a broken connection between your Mac and the router or whatever internet device where you have it connected. As you can see in this picture, uh, this Mac is recognizing a direct internet connection port and a Wi-Fi antenna because both are showing a Mac address. So let's look for a solution for the direct connection first and then we'll try with the wireless connection. First, look here what it says Ethernet. If it says not connected, then the cable that connects your Mac with the router is either bad or is disconnected in one end. Check the connections on both ends, try a different port on the back of the router if you need to, and make sure your router is connected to power. If still Ethernet shows not connected, then the internet port on your Mac is bad. You will have to try the wireless connection. By the other hand, if Ethernet shows enable, but up here where it says internet, it shows not available. It means that your Mac is linking with your router, which is a good thing, but your router is not linking with your modem or is not getting internet service from it. Double check the connections between the router and the modem, verify your modem is online, and disconnect it and reconnect it from the electric power if it's necessary. In this example, I'm checking with my computer and as you can see my internet connection is not working. Obviously, I did that on purpose so you could have a rough idea as the computer and the Mac I'm testing are both connected to a router that is disconnected from the modem. So, after verifying that your internet is up and running, make sure that the status on the internet it has changed to enable. Ethernet should also be enabled and it should be an IP address assigned. If so, click here and try it again and your Mac should connect without problems. Now let's look for a solution for the wireless connection. The procedure is similar to that explained before in the direct connection. If you already verify that you don't have internet problems and you want to connect your Mac to the internet wirelessly, here what it says Wi-Fi will be displaying not connected only if no Wi-Fi antenna is detected. If your Mac is a wireless version or have an external antenna attached to it, and there is no MAC address assigned in this section here, then the internal or the external Wi-Fi antenna is damaged. Try a different USB port, a different Wi-Fi antenna, or use a direct connection as an alternative. Now, if Wi-Fi shows disabled and you see a MAC address assigned here, of course, here, what it says, Internet will still show not available until you do the connection. So let's connect it to the internet. Click on system setting, then on network, then wireless Wi-Fi. Now select auto DHCP, 
select the Wi-Fi connection you want to use and double check on the next window that the selected SSID is the one that you want to use. Now in authentication mode, select the one you are using if any is specific or leave the pre-selected. Where it says encryption here, you can also leave the default or select open if your internet connection do not require a password. Otherwise, where it says key or passphrase here, enter your Wi-Fi password. To activate the virtual keyboard, press the button KV on your Mac remote. And when finished, click the button with the little house to exit the virtual keyboard and then press OK to save the password. Now press the button with the little house as many times as you need to return to the error page. Now you should see on Wi-Fi here that it has changed to enable and also should be an IP address assigned. Otherwise, you must return to the network setup and verify that you select the right SSID and password. Now if Wi-Fi is enabled and there is an IP address assigned, an internet up here also shows enable. Click on try it again and your Mac should connect without problems. Otherwise, if Wi-Fi is enabled and there is an IP address assigned, but here internet is still showing not connected, then follow the router modem troubleshooting on the beginning of this tutorial. If after following all the steps for the direct or a wireless internet connection, you still don't get the result you expect and suspect that your Mac internet connection ports might be damaged, try the factory reset. Go to my channel and look for the Mac 254 factory default tutorial, also applicable to different Mac versions. This being all for the page loading error. I hope this information has helped you understand and solve your problems. If so, give it a like and help others by sharing your results, commenting or suggesting. And please help me with your subscription and check in the little bell to be notified of my new upcoming video tutorials here at the shortcuts or at the shortcuts.com. Goodbye.